Hey guys! So I finally found this. I have been looking everywhere. Um, there is a new makeup brand called Believe Beauty and it's exclusively at Dollar General stores. And um, so I finally found it after going to a bunch of stores and uh, something that you should know about this I was just taking all the packaging, uh, anything that was like sealed in the package, I was opening it up and if there were stickers, um, safety seal stickers, there's tamper proof uh, stickers on there, like security stickers, and as I was going through taking all that stuff off, I realized that um, anything that didn't have a safety sticker, because not everything had that type of packaging, it's going to get messed up pretty fast um, because people are going to open it and stick their fingers in it. So if you are curious about some of these things, then you may want to check this out sooner rather than later before everything ends up getting ruined. Um, but I'll tell you as we go along which things had safety stickers on them and which ones didn't. But... um the price point on this is very reasonable. Everything is $5 or less. And um, so let's just jump right into it then and I can show you what I bought. I bought the foundation brush because I was kind of curious about the brushes and I just took it out of the packaging, which it comes in this type of packaging. But... It feels very, very promising. These bristles are super, super soft, and I'm sure it's synthetic. Um, it just says, a foundation brush designed with the ideal shape, density, and texture to achieve the most airbrushed finish. But this is made in China because different things are made in different countries and I'm going to point that out to you. I grouped them by what country they were made in because I just found that interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six different countries these things were made in. So this feels promising and there's what the the handle looks like. So when I finish making this video I'm going to wash this and try it out tomorrow when I do my makeup. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to ask you guys. Today I'm just going to do a haul with swatches. And the next video I do, would you rather see a get ready with me video testing these products out, like a first impressions thing? Or would you rather that I use these for a few days and then did like maybe a lump review of everything and just tell you what I thought and give you some information about the products? Because if I do a first impressions, you really can't get um, a full feel for how something is going to work until you've had it on for a while. But I don't know. I kind of like first impressions videos. So you tell me, which would you rather see a full on review of everything? Or would you rather see a first impressions get ready with me video? You can let me know. Okay, the next group of products was made in Germany. I bought the foundation, and it comes in a either glass or heavy plastic. No, I would say glass. This feels like a glass bottle, and it does have a pump, and I got it in the shade Nude. And um, hopefully this will... Hopefully this color will be okay because I kept looking and looking at the shades and I was like, oh, I'm not really sure. So I'm just giving it a, a shake here so we can see how this is going to be. Okay, so... Hmm. It looks like it's pretty yellow for my skin tone. That's one thing I was going to say is this line skews 
quite warm. There were some products that I didn't even buy because I just didn't see anything that um, that I really wanted. Well, I'll, I'll get to that, I guess, eventually. Wow, you can't even see that. All right, there we go. But see how yellow that is? And the other shades were a lot more warm tone than this even. So let's see what happens when I blend it in. Yeah, that's pretty warm for my skin tone. Once it's blended in though, and maybe after I have like powder and contour and blush and everything, it might, I might be able to make this work, but yeah, I have that problem a lot of times. I just can't find something cool enough for my skin tone. There's not that many brands that have cool toned foundation shades for me, but we'll see. I'll, I'll try it out. And the other products that were made in Germany were the Bullet Lipsticks. And this is, um, it says Satin Crush Lipstick, so it's a satin finish. And I bought the shade Soft Rose, and it's kind of short. I mean, if you look, it's not m that much bigger than my pinky finger. It's, it's pretty small. And the packaging, by the way, on these products, oh, it looks like I missed... Well, the only way that I'm going to be able to open that is to remove that sticker, and that means I'm going to lose all the information. Hmm. I don't like the idea of that. I wonder if I can take the part that has the name. Yeah, it's perforated. Peel it off and put it on the bottom. There we go. Fits perfectly. Okay. I guess that's probably what you're supposed to do. All right. So it's a satin finish, and this is called Soft Rose. But see how warm that is? And this was probably the least warm out of the whole bullet lipstick line. So yeah, everything is pretty warm. I do kind of like that, though. So there's the, there's the bullet lipstick. And the next thing that was made in Germany is the concealer. It says, your covered liquid concealer, and I got the shade Fair. There it is right there. Yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty warm. Blend it in though, it looks, looks promising blended in. There was another shade lighter than this, but it was like super, super yellow and I knew that that definitely wouldn't work. And I got one of the eyeliners, the pencil eyeliners. This is called the Long Lasting Eyeliner, and I got the shade So Slate. And this is a twist up liner. Ooh, I love the way that applied. Wow. Oh boy, that's real promising. Can't wait to try that. And I got a lip liner, long-lasting lip liner, and I bought the shade Almost Rose. And it's a twist up. Really, really creamy. That's going to go nicely with that lipstick that I picked out. Perfect. Okay, so those are the things that are made in Germany. Then this next batch of stuff was made in Italy. They had several different mascaras to choose from, so I got the one called Extended Lash Lengthening Mascara. 
and that's the packaging that it came in. But I can tell you, there's the, there's the uh, tube. I can tell just by opening it that I'm not going to like this or I don't think I'm going to like it because it has no product on it at all when you pull the wand out and I've already put it back in and pulled it out again to try to make it deposit more product onto the wand and it it's just not. Um, I like wet mascaras and this is I have yet to find a mascara that wasn't super wet that I did like. So probably won't like that, but we'll see. We'll see. I should keep an open mind. Then they had these, which, ooh, I'm so intrigued by these. Uh, this is called the Glimmer Pots Gel to Powder Eyeshadow. And there were two shades that I thought were so pretty that I was just going to buy one, but I couldn't narrow it down to one because I really wanted both of these. This one is called Dahlia, D-A-H-L-I-A, -A, and it's a taupe. I can't wait to stick my finger in this to see what it feels like. Ooh, so it's got that wet feeling. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. Oh, I think I'm gonna love this. So cream to powder or gel to powder. And then the other one that I thought was really pretty is pink quartz. And this is a like deep rosy pink with gold shimmer in it. Oh wow, that comes off really gold. Let me swatch it on my hand. Wow. There it is there. Oh, those are both so pretty. Ah, oh, I'm glad I got I'm glad I got both of them. Now these did not have safety seals on them. Uh, let's see. Was there anything else that, oh, and the lip liner and the eyeliner were not sealed at all. But people are going to put their fingers in these. So, ooh, if I end up liking these, I may have to go back and get more colors of that before people get their grubby mitts in them. Okay, so those are the things that were made in Italy. And then this next thing was made in Poland. This is the Brighten Up Color Correcting Concealer in the shade light slash medium. They had light slash medium and medium slash dark with this. So this is a peach and this this had no safety seal on it either. Ooh, this, this feels real nice. Ooh, this is gonna blend like a dream. Ooh. Now this is just a corrector so you're not really gonna see it at all once it's blended into my skin. Um, but yeah, this has got some potential. So that was the only thing from Poland. These next things were made in, um, Taiwan. So there's an eyeshadow palette and I got the one that's blue, gray, silver, and beige. And this one is called Into the Blue. So that's what that looks like, and it seems as if I've run out of room over here, so I'm going to swatch this. You know what? I should swatch it on my arm. No, it'll probably, I'll probably end up with it all over my sweatshirt if I do, so. Ooh, oh wow, this has a really, look at, look at that, that's the beige, ooh. Hmm. Wow. Wow, where are you guys? 
Holy pigmentation back, man. <laughs> oh, these, these feel real promising. I'm going to show you what I'm swatching in my hand once I've got them all done. Wow, these, these feel really nice. Oh, wow. Oh, these are so promising, you guys. I really like the way this feels. The, you know, we have get nothing but rain now, just every single day, rain, and it totally screws up my lighting. <laughs> it gets me so mad. Okay, there we go. Thank you, camera. Did you see the camera self-adjust there? Okay, so those are the eyeshadows, and of course they had other palettes that were colors that you would probably like more, but I just... This is the one that appealed to me, so this is the one that I got. Okay, let me get all the swatches off here. Okay, FYI, when I wiped the swatches off, the lip liner and the eyeliner had some staying power. I mean, when I was wiping it off, it came off like reluctantly. Same thing with those eyeshadows um, from the, the palette. These feel like a really unique formula to them. It says, this eyeshadow palette is curated with a selection of six highly pigmented mattes, striking shimmers, and metallics, all with a smooth and blendable texture. The versatile shade collection allows you to create both classic and playful looks that go from day to night. So yeah, pretty, pretty unique formula on that. And then also from Taiwan, I got a highlighter. Oh, I just saw I forgot, I forgot to take the swatches off my fingers. I took them off my hands, but not my fingers. Oh, well, I'll swatch with the other hand. Um, I bought this Radiant Finish Highlighter Palette in Pop of Pink. And this is like a super, super light pink. Oh, this feels nice too. This feels a lot like the eyeshadow palette formula. Oh, oh God, I hope the camera's gonna be able to pick this up. All right, let's see. Damn it. All right, what I'm gonna have to do is, oh, cause this is so gorgeous, but the camera isn't showing it. What I'm gonna have to do is I will take a picture of this swatch when I finish the video and post it on Twitter and Instagram. Cause you, you have to see this. It's, um, it's pink, but it's just, Stunning, stunning color. And it doesn't swatch the color that it is in the pan. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll do that. And I bought the Universal Brow Kit. This is also from Taiwan. It comes with the world's tiniest little brush and spoolie. And then it's got, you know, like a, an assortment of brow powders and a wax. Okay, so it's got three brow powders and a wax. So chances are, you know, the one next to the wax I think will work out okay. And then there is one product that was made in the United States and that is the Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick and I got the shade Honey Blush. This doesn't have any smell, by the way, in case you're wondering.
Oh, I really, really like that color. Well, that shows up. So we'll see how that goes. That has an interesting feel to it too. So the formula on this stuff is somewhat unique. I can't wait to actually try these things out because I've been looking for weeks at several different stores. Um, so it could be a struggle to actually find this stuff if you're interested, but I'm going to try it all out and you can let me know in the comments section. Do you want a review video or do you want a get ready with me first impressions video? Um, and I will film whichever one is the majority vote. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.